Oh, that was incredible. I mean, I knew the car was probably going to run pretty good. I mean, Kurt and the whole Parts Plus team, they really surprised me on the first run going 83 because by the time we ran, not a lot of cars had really went down the racetrack. And and so then with uh, Langdon going out there on the first lap going 79, I seen Kurt start turning some knobs. I knew it was going to be a good one. And, uh, you know, it always becomes a question of whether or not it will hold on or not. But, man, when that thing locked the clutch up, it uh, it got up on the rear tire, started dancing around. And uh, I kind of looked like I did out there on the uh, dirt track race today, sliding all over the place, but hit it. It held on, and uh, what a lap. I mean, the thing with 286 miles an hour at half track, that's a pretty stout run. I was very, very pleased with that. What does it mean to you to lay down a track record here? Well, I mean, it's you know, it really means more to me for the guys that work on this car because qualifying, you know, the driver just has to really do his job, and, and you're doing everything you can to just not make a mistake. And I feel like I left a little bit on the table again from driving the car around a little bit going down the racetrack. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's so fun to have a, have a lap like that and to know that you're the best car in the world tonight. That that feels pretty good. You know, whether it will stay tomorrow, we'll have to wait and see. But to know you got the best car in the world tonight certainly feels pretty good.